What's up guys, welcome back to another MFF episode. This week I'm doing some musky fishing. I'll get straight to the action. I land a really, really nice fish. I'll put the timestamp here if you wanna just skip to the fish cut. But uh, I'll show you kinda of how we get to this lake in the middle of nowhere. Thank you guys for watching, enjoy the video. So we'll call this Lake Lake X, but to get up to this lake that we found a few years ago, you gotta go way across a big size lake and then go up a little creek. So it's a very kind of journey to get up there, which is kind of cool. And it feels very remote while you're going up there. And you know, we take advantage of having our smaller aluminum boats and you can't get up there in a big ranger, which you may have some advantage on bigger waters, but we like to take the advantage on the smaller waters and kind of explore some backwoods areas and find some true hidden gyms, which you'll see here. And they can hold some nice fish as well. First good hurrah. What? That's the first good hurrah. Yeah, final first. <laughs> Oh, fish, 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 fish. He smoked it. Tank. I did. You see that? Is it five all? No. The trauma motor is on. You don't have to turn it off. I mean, it's up to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, might be a couple. You feel like you're in a good spot though? I'm in a good spot. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna be head first. But... Yeah. What I might be able to do is do like this, get. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think the only thing I could think is maybe flip flop with you, but no, that's okay. Might help to get lower for your sake or not. Nah, go, 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 go. Oh, get it, get it, bat! Bat, you need to be. I'm gonna get the. That bait out first. Yeah. Order as well. Okay, bet. I can get the bump board, but we'll do a, we'll do a pick first and I can get the back camera out. You still fish here, guys. We'll go for the bump board. Forty-eight and a half. Forty-eight and a half. Look at that thing. Should I go for the release GDP? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we're gonna go right here. Look at that thing. I need some reviving. Pretty good. Let's see, he swims out. 
She has tired tissues all over the floor. He was just kind of sitting on the surface when I released him, but then you can see this GoPro, he gave a strong kick and went back down. And we fished uh, even later that evening and yeah, the next morning in this lake and did not down. see that fish come up at all. Depth. I'm sure he was fine. I barely had him out of the water, as you can see. The only reason he was probably like that was because he did come out about 20 feet of water when I hooked him using a weighted that weighted tube. But he was fine, I'm sure. And the water temps were 64 degrees surface temps, so it gave him little stress coming up to the surface with it being that cool. I caught this fish on a heavily weighted water wolf tube. It, I think, I believe this is like a hot Cisco color or just a basic Cisco color. But uh, I've been first year kind of committing to tubes. We kind of like, me and my buddy like to fish a lot of rubbers deeper. And I picked up some tube this year and gave him a shot and it produced. So I'm very happy with tubes and I'm going to start fishing them more. I do like the blade on the end because I feel like you get a double presentation. Uh, I try to fish something that gives you a little bit of both, whether it's a blade on it or a blade on the front. I just think it helps your presentation and it makes more disturbance for muskies. I think it really does help having a combo bait. And you're seeing more and more nowadays be being combined. You have the bonnie baits, like Orbas, all the sorts of robbers that have blades incorporated with them. And I feel like it's a common trend for a reason. Tanker. That's a tanker. Oh, that's a tanker. That's a tanker. That's what I mean. There's no logs either. Oh, holy, holy! Shit. You see that? Oh, that's a tank. For watching the video i really appreciate it and don't worry about the people looking for some fly content i got a fly fishing for bass video dropping later this week and for those who are more into just the cold water trout fishing we're only a month away i'll be back in the driftless and i'll be doing tons of videos in the fall with driftless fishing and trout and i'll be doing some fall steelhead also so don't worry those videos will be back come fall time just in the middle of the summer here being up north i've been kind of focusing on some warm water so plenty of warm water fly fishing to come also remember to subscribe and drop a comment if you have any questions concerns or ideas for videos Thank you guys so much for watching again and subscribe for the new videos.